Hi everyone, Tom Wolf here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this sweeping arpeggiated synth in Omnisphere. So this is a preset called Late to the Party, and this is one of the July presets from SynthVault. Now, if you don't know about SynthVault yet, it's a new membership that I've started, and it is completely free to sign up to. Every single month, you're going to get 20 brand new presets, and that includes presets for Omnisphere and Pigment, as well as a different Yuhi synth every month, and a wildcard synth as well. Now, there's a link in the description. If you head over there, you can sign up and get these presets every single month for completely free. So then you could download this preset and you can go along through this tutorial and kind of do everything that I'm doing in this and deconstruct it yourself as we go through. So let's have a look at how to create this preset. Okay, so the first thing to note about this preset is that the signal path is set to shared. So that means that all of these layers here are going to be sharing envelopes, they're going to be sharing a filter and they're going to be sharing effects. So we're also going to start with the arpeggiator turned on and we've got an incredibly basic arpeggiator sequence set up in here. So it's just four notes and it's set to eighth notes um, and we've just got a little kind of velocity uh, put in here. We've also got it set to as played. So whatever order I press the notes in, it's going to be playing them in that order. So let's come to layer A and we're starting off with an ARP 2600 pulse. So that sounds like this. So it's an incredibly basic kind of pulse sound there. But we're then going to turn up the hard sync, okay? So there we go, we're setting it to about halfway. So we're getting a much kind of like sharper, buzzier sound by turning up the hard sync. So we're then going to switch on layer B. So if we come over to layer B, uh, we've got a SH101 saw set up here. So on its own, that sounds like this. and then we'll bring in layer A as well. So we've got these combined waveforms here, so we're kind of treating it as if it was like a traditional analog synth there. Um, so let's switch on the filter. So you can see we're using a low pass juicy 24 dB. We've got the cutoff set to 0.25 kilohertz there. We've got the resonance up about halfway, key follow set to halfway, and we've got just a little bit of envelope happening here as well so I'll turn that up a little bit so we can hear it slightly better so our filter envelope is here so we've just got quite a short decay tiny 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 little bit of sustain on there as well so the decay is set to 0 0.12 uh, sorry 195 seconds there um, and of course because we're in shared mode the filter is the same for both layers We've also got the amp set to a very basic setting here um, because the filter is kind of, you know, the filter envelope is controlling our sound here as well as the arpeggiator. So now we're going to set up this sweep that we've got happening on the filter. So if I right click the filter show modulation, we're going to be using LFO1 to control the filter sweep here. So at the moment, as you can see, it's muted. Uh, on LFO1, we've got it set to a triangle wave. Um, we've got the start point set to 0.750. It's set to unipolar, so it's only going to be opening the cutoff and then closing it back to its original point rather than going below as well. We've also got it time synced and the rate for that is four bars. Okay, uh, so let's unmute that. So we're now getting that nice filter sweep and because we've got a lot of resonance on this, it's giving us quite a kind of like acidic sound. So then we also want the hard sync on our layer A uh, waveform to be modulated as well. So as you can see, that's already set up. So we'll go show modulation. And this is being controlled by LFO2. So LFO2, again, we've got it set to a triangle wave. Uh, we've got it set to start at 0.75. We've got it in unipolar mode. Um, so it's only going to be opening it rather than, you know, going underneath our set point. And we've got it time synced. And again, this is set to uh, cross three bars okay so it's just going to be going slightly out of phase with that cutoff sweep so let's unmute that so obviously as we're opening that hard sync 
We're getting a really kind of biting sound there. And then we're also going to put a little bit of glide on this as well because, you know, it's got that sort of feel to it. We want it to flow. Um, so just a little bit of glide. Just set to 0 0.1, 0 0.2 seconds. So it's not quite so kind of percussive. It just flows a little bit better there. If you want, you could kind of turn it up a bit more as well. But I want it to be quite subtle in this. So that's it for the actual synth sound. So let's come over to our effects. So first thing we're going to look at is our auxiliary. So you can see we've got our aux send set to about halfway here. If we come over to our auxiliary, first thing we've got is a BPM delay times two. So we can now play that and bring in our aux return. And we're going to start getting that delay. Turn that down slightly. Um, We've got the mix set to 100% wet here. We've got the first delay set to a quarter. And we've got the second set to a dotted eighth note. We've got the feedback quite high here. And we've got a little bit of tone shaping on it as well. So it's just above the kind of halfway point. So this is giving us a really kind of full and spacious delay happening here. We've then got a little bit of um, kind of taming it with the studio EQ here. So both bands of this are set to peaking mode and the first one is set to uh, just over 100 hertz. We've got the gain set to minus 4.5 so it's bringing it down quite a bit and we have got a little bit of cue on there just to sharpen that up slightly. And then on band two we've got it set to kind of reduce about 2.5 kilohertz. We've got it set to just over minus 2 dB and I think our cue is set to the minimum there so that's going to be slightly wider. So this is just kind of bringing out some of the removing rather some of the harshness of that delay especially in the kind of low end there and then we've also got a little bit of reverb which is over on our common effects here so we've got it set to the proverb we've got tiny amount of mix there so it's set to nine so not a massive amount um, and then we've got the size set to just under halfway we've got the time set to uh 6,800 milliseconds there, a little bit of pre-delay, um, density set to about halfway, um, and then there's a little bit of kind of reverb shaping going on here. Um, and our diffusion is set to 60, so let's just add that in. So just making our sound a little bit more kind of spacious there. And you can also see we've got an imager here, which is just controlling the volume. Uh, okay, so that's not really doing much at all. So that's the bulk of the sound. The only things we've got left are our modulations. So on this preset, we've got aftertouch and mod wheel. So let's start with the aftertouch. So the aftertouch is controlling the toxic smasher here, um, which is just happening on our delay feed. So we'll switch on the toxic and you can see at the moment we've got the mix set to zero but if we show modulation after touch if we unmute that we can see that our after touch is setting that mix to 100 percent so we've got the reduce set to 0.4 no wave shaping happening here crushes all the way off um, and then we've got a little bit of bandpass filtering here so that's a 0.5 kilohertz and quite a bit of resonance and it's set to pre-mode as well so if we play that you can hear we've not got it as normal and then as I depress the keys we're getting that nice kind of toxic smasher crunchy bit crushy sound on the delay tail there which just works really well and then we've got our mod wheel as well so what our mod wheel is going to be doing in this preset is essentially removing the cutoff sweep okay so it's going to be kind of softening the sound up a little bit, which is a nice sort of effect where you can um, have this big cut off sweep, this big sweeping arpeggiator, but then also be able to control it while you're playing and soften it a little bit and, you know, have it changing over time. OK, so the first thing that the mod wheel is controlling is our LFO1 depth because our LFO1 is controlling that cut off sweep. So we've used the mod wheel to remove that cutoff sweep. So we're essentially turning down the LFO1 depth so it doesn't sound. So if I unmute that and I open my 
mod wheel, you can see we're turning the depth off. So let's hear that on its own. So we've got a really stunted sound there. So I kind of wanted to just bring it out a little bit more so you can see we've actually got the wheel controlling the cutoff directly slightly as well. It's only a tiny little bit, 0 0.075 there. If I mute that, just a tiny, tiny little bit brighter. And then we've also got our resonance as well. So the resonance is still quite sharp and I wanted to bring that down just slightly. So again, we're bringing our resonance down. It's set to uh, 0.167. You've just got it a little bit more kind of obvious there, but it's not got this big sweep on it anymore. And there's the sweep. Okay, so that was how to create the preset late to the party. As I mentioned at the start, this sound is from the July presets in the Synth Vault. The Synth Vault is completely free to join, so you get 20 free presets every single month. It's brand new presets. It's not ones from any of my sound banks or anything like that. It's completely new presets, and it's spread across Omnisphere, pigments, Yuhi synths and a wildcard synth as well each month. And you'll get those presets every single month. So if you want to sign up to that, check out the link in the description. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, take care.